Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio. Today we are learning how to use Odoo's electronic data interchange. EDI for my acronym lovers, and I suggest you use it. This is a feature that streamlines the import of purchase orders from one Odoo database to another, converting it into a sales order. So electronic data interchange enables businesses to exchange documents, such as purchases and sales orders in a structured standardized format, improving efficiency and accuracy. In Odoo, you can export a purchase order as an XML file from the buyer's database and import it as a sales order into the seller's Odoo database. Since the process does not require manual data entry, we are significantly reducing the risk of errors. I don't know about you, but I love any process that means less work for me. So enough chit chat, let's get started. So there are two roles in this process, the buyer and the seller. We are going to start off in the buyer database where we actually have the purchase app all set and ready to go. Now I'm gonna click new, so as to create a new RFQ. So I want this to go to our favorite vendor, Joel Williams. So we're gonna get started with that. Well, Joel Willis. Okay, so down here, I'm going to add some products. We're gonna get started right now. We're gonna do our acoustic block screens. I feel like I use that one a lot. I'm gonna do a couple of these just to get us some big old numbers. So I'm gonna up the quantity. I also want to order some chairs office chairs. How many should we do? Well, we're going to keep it in line. We're going to do 10 of those. Okay. So now up next, I'm going to confirm this order, which converts this RFQ into a purchase order, as we can tell now by the name and also purchase order. So now let's switch to the seller's perspective. I actually happen to have used Joel's login over here to show you how he receives and processes the order. So Joel has portal access to our database. So this is what he sees when he logs in. Right now, we are only concerned about the our orders little area right here in the center. So let's click it. Okay, so this is where Joel can see all of the purchase orders that we have sent him. And here actually happens to be the one that we just created today. So let's check it out. All right, everything looks correct right here. We have the items listed here. And as you can tell, we have 10 of each, both the acoustic block screens and the office chairs. So now Joel needs to upload these to his own Odoo database so that he can fulfill this order right over, well, actually right over here on the left side, which happens to be with the connect with your software button. So when we click that, here's a pop up telling me how I can upload the data into Odoo, including how I can drag and drop a PDF. That is also good to know. But I want to use the XML. So I just need to actually copy this URL up here, and then paste it in a new tab. And as soon as I do that, it automatically downloads the XML file, we just have one last step now. All right, so I'll address the elephant in the room. Joel is an incredibly cool person. Joel happens to use dark mode. If you don't know how to do that, over here in the top right corner. Okay, so Joel just needs to upload this purchase order information into the sales app right here. So let's go into our sales application and we're gonna select upload in the top left. We're gonna select that file that we had just downloaded recently. And would you look at that? Just like that, I happen to have a brand new sales order. And we can also notice that we happen to have everything already imported, such as the customer field is automatically updated as well. And it tells us it's stealthy wood, as did the product information as well below. And we see everything over here, including the XML file in our chatter. And that is the exact file that this information came from, which is great for traceability. Now, as far as actually fulfilling this order, I'm gonna leave that step to Joel. We don't wanna step on his toes. I can't do everything for him. And there you have it, a sales order is automatically created with the buyer, product lines, prices, and quantities already filled in, saving time and ensuring accuracy. Thank you for watching, O'Doers. Go grab a snack.